It's quiet. are back. It's you! I knew that was our meat cute back there! I knew it! I'd love to get to know you better, but I got some business to take care of. Ah. Spears like a mini EMP. See, your boss has been up to no good lately. This is my sin, not his jungle. Ah. He killed Scorpion! Let the lizard loose! And he stabbed me pretty good! I'd like a word with him, especially about that last part! Zap my gadgets again. Take another shot! Yeah. Yeah. Uh. 
what, these guys? Enough song and dance. I'm coming, Craven. Here to pick up a serum order for a Dr. Connors? Emily May. How'd it go? Really well. Things just got a little intense with Craven. He's somehow stronger than he looks, if you can believe that. Hey, the important thing is that you're okay, and you got the serum. You did great, buddy. I'll start prepping the gear. How'd it really go? It was totally... I didn't want to worry, Harry. It seems like the suit malfunctions when it's within range of certain frequencies. How bad is the malfunction? Not pleasant, but I can handle it. Well, I'm glad you're all right, but watch yourself out there, too. 
Let me know how things go at the lab. Absolutely. Talk soon.
Take however much time you need. You're safe. Blowing up about the commotion out in Jersey. A fire at the old zoo? A secret hunter base? And Spider Man trying on his friend's black suit? Things are getting weird out there, folks. I mean, I know there's a lot of excitement about SM's black is the new black look, and I mean, it is fire and all, but isn't it just a tad moody for our friendly neighborhood so and so? No takers? Just me? Okay, well, you know, you, you come to me for the real real, so I'm just trying to deliver. Stay safe out there, y'all. Still got it? Let's see what this thing's made of. Okay, I've overlaid the serum with an old sample of Connor's blood. If you can destroy the atoms blocking the lizard receptors, we can make an antidote, and then we're golden. Like a goose. Like a clever goose. So how's the suit working out for you? It's good. Great, even. Just takes some getting used to. Yep. I'm gonna really put it through its paces when this is over. Won't be long now. There. Huzzah. Huzzah. Wait. Does the structure look unstable to you? We could beam a few electrons in there, it'd stabilize it, but it's not like we have a... Particle, particle accelerator? accelerator. <laughs> That'd be like using a shotgun for a haircut. Hell of a haircut. The text said it needs repair, but maybe it's... It's okay. Okay. No black holes, no black holes, no black holes. Huh. 
pressure change popped an intersection out of alignment. There's no way to fix it without going inside. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? The suit will protect me, right? Peter, I don't know about this. Relax and be a good proton. Huh? Stay positive. <laughs> so, what's the inside of a particle accelerator like? Amazing. You gotta crawl in this when you get the suit back. Oh, yeah, it's at the top of my list. What's gonna happen when I realign it anyway? If there aren't any other pressure problems, nothing. You can come right out. Harry! It's, it's powering up, but the beams are attic. Use the magnets to stabilize it. How? Just find the sweet spot. Particle accelerators do not have sweet spots! Steady. Now the other. There, good. There's one more set of magnets ahead. If you can't stabilize the beam, it'll destroy the serum. I got it. Library cards. Don't touch the beam, don't touch the beam. Next. You did it, Pete. We're home free. Come on out. Probably a static discharge. It means the accelerator's working. Clever freaking goose. Is it working? Blizzard any doubt, here we come. Got some sensitive ears. Apparently. What happened? More static discharges. The accelerator's still running, though. The serum's okay. Fire. You get that side, I'll get this up. Got it! Good, good. Static discharges must have fried our fire suppression sensors. I'll try to trigger them manually. Is the antidote still getting made? Should be. But if the fires damage the accelerator, we'll lose it. Easy. Stop with the spreading already! Out. How you doing, Harry? I'm bypassing every safety lock known to man. Living life on the edge. But I was thinking, there's always one thing that goes wrong with any big undertaking. This was our one. Don't jinx us.
That's the last of them. It worked! <laughs> so you'll power it down, I'll grab the antidote, find Dr. Connor. Not so fast. There are 67 shutdown steps. If we take it out before, then we'll lose the antidote. Oof. Sounds like it's gonna be a while. You hungry? I could go get a pizza. Shut it down and get the antidote. I'll handle this. No Craven? I thought we had a thing going. You are not his only friend. Ah, Lee, tell me where he is. Breathe him. Shoot him. Do I spy some electromagnets? Could you not, please? I'd like to keep my fight party small. I thought Craven was only going after super villains. Why are they here? They must have tracked me after I stole the serum. Sorry, Harry. Why are you apologizing? I'm not worried. You've got the suit. Kick their asses. What step are you on now, Harry? Diverting the beam into the auxiliary tunnel. And what's new with you? Well, I just got an extension on my student loans. Real excited about that. We're making good progress. Only 30 steps left until the antidote is ready. Great! Because I don't think these guys are gonna stop coming! You got this, buddy. on my student loans. Real excited about that.
losing him again. Could you not, please? I'd like to keep my fight party small. I thought Craven was only going after Silver. Why are they here? They must have tracked me after I stole the serum. Sorry, Harry. Why are you apologizing? I'm not worried. You got the suit. Kick their ass. <laughs> What step are you on now, Harry? Diverting the beam into the auxiliary tunnel. What's new with you? Well, I just got an extension on my student loans. Real excited about that. Almost powered down. I'll finish it and grab the antidote. You need to get out. I can't leave. I'm the only one who. Watch out! Ah! <laughs> 
monsters you have? Really? in these woods. Okay, before we get down to business, there's something I have to tell you. I'm fresh out of honey. Come on, I thought it was funny. No, all this damage wouldn't take long to fix. Maybe we'd even keep some of it as a patch of honor. Oh, crap. Those arrows must have ruptured the accelerator's shielding. The beam's scraping the tunnel. Can you still shut it down? What about the antidote? Still being made. But time to start crossing fingers. <laughs> Foundation. I don't care about that right now. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. 
Get in there and see what you can save. I want a detailed report of the damage. Come. Your dad's right. The foundation doesn't matter. What? This was our dream. And it still is. But right now, we have to focus on finding Dr. Connors and getting you healthy again. I got this. Are you Pete? Hey, Genki. Hey, dude. One of the friends got its wires all crossed with an old hunter transmission. Figured you might want to look into it. Maybe it'll lead to Lee. Sending you the source coordinates. Really appreciate it, man. No problem. Everything good? Haley and I are a little worried. It's okay. I just need everything to get back to normal first. I'll make it up to her, though, for missing her exhibit. Okay, dude. Hope the lead pans out. I'm sure you've heard by now that Mac Gargan, the Scorpion, has been found dead. His stinger removed like a trophy. One can only assume this was at the hands of the Hunters. Are they doing what the ineffectual Spider-Men won't and removing these dangers permanently? Then again, maybe Spider-Man has finally changed his tune. I, for one, say, let them wipe each other out. They're not making our world a better place, and the less of these mass marauders roaming our streets, the better. When they're gone, we can turn the corner back to simpler times. Wouldn't that be refreshing? I yearn for the days of normal news coverage, when I could attack the real issues, like the tanking economy or the corruption of our youth. Instead of being forced to cover spandexed buffoons who make life for the average Joe a waking nightmare. One day, <laughs> one day, 